Good evening. Say listen to you too. I must be quiet because it's at night and I don't want to wake up my parents. So please forgive me for not talking loud and I hope all you can hear me. Now, as you all are aware of, I have a personal distrust of the ED page and the slander rays. Throughout 2008, Robert Simmons began uploading videos to YouTube, posing as a true and honest fan of Sonic Youth. He would replicate Chris Chan's mannerisms, fashion sense, and hobbies. First and foremost, Rose Chu is a woman, 100% woman with a vagina. Vagina. Chris, vagina. unable to recognize that he was being mocked, took a liking to Robert, dubbing him one of the few trustworthy men. Sarah Cassandra McKenzie, also known as Panda Halo, continued to talk with Chris throughout this period, using his desperation in the wake of his breakup with Blanca to regain his trust. In late 2008, Chris allowed her to create Sonichu Fans, a sub-site of his own Sonichu.net. The site included an internet relay chat where Chris would sometimes show up to interact with his community. On December 27th, 2008, in the Sonichu Fans IRC, Panda Halo mentioned to Chris that Robert Simmons visited her home in Australia. She intentionally makes Chris jealous by telling him she took Robert bikini shopping. Chris asks if they hooked up, which she denies. Panda wonders if Chris would be willing to have a threesome with Robert. Chris isn't interested. The conversation shifts to mass debating, and Chris admits he would allow her to use a strap-on dildo on him. He suggests that he could have intercourse with a dog if Panda Halo wanted him to but only if it were an attractive breed. The following day, he had another chat with Panda. Chris reveals that he has fecal incontinence and occasionally defecates in his own pants. Panda suggests wearing adult diapers, but Chris finds this emasculating and refuses. As the conversation progresses, Panda's behavior becomes increasingly erratic. She makes train noises before demanding another round of online sex. Chris doesn't feel up to it, and Panda gets angry, threatening to dump him for Robert Simmons. On January 1st, 2009, Chris released issue 8 of the Sonic Shoe comics. Due to the stress caused by online trolls, it took him nearly 5 months to complete. The comic is far more obscene than anything that came before, and as a result, it was released in 3 different versions. The TVMA version featured full nudity, TV14 used giant fruit as a form of censorship, and TVY7 had the pages with nudity removed entirely although it still contained graphic sexual dialogue. We open with Sonichu and Rosechu in bed together as they make love. The next day, Rosechu finds pickled images of herself on 4 cent garbage, an obvious reference to 4chan. Rosechu is deeply offended, and Sonichu becomes physically ill from the shock. Rosechu takes nude photos of herself in the bathroom as revenge. They teleport to the 4 cent garbage headquarters, hoping to set things straight. As they ride the elevator upward, each floor presents a different meme found on 4chan. At the top of the tower, they find Jason Kendrick Howell, the original creator of the Chris Chan Encyclopedia Dramatica page. The Hedgehogs ask for the ED page to be removed from the internet because it is un-American. Jason throws a pickle at Rosechu, who catches it and crushes the pickle in her hands. Rosechu is enraged and strips off her clothes. She shouts, I am woman, hear me roar transforms into a lion and rips apart Jason's head. Afterwards, they have a party to celebrate, and the comic ends with a message of female empowerment. Episode 18 features the long-awaited spring break sequence. DJ Jamster and Lolisa cover the festivities. Our main cast of characters are sunbathing and surfing on the beach. Maji-chan telepathically informs Bubbles that there is a Sonichu ball in the ocean. Blake and Bubbles sneak off with each other, now secretly in a relationship. Bubbles tells him that she must retrieve another Sonichu crystal and that she will meet him afterwards. Suddenly, a mysterious female hedgehog transforms into Bubbles. This new character, named Silvana Rosechu, hatched on the moon and was raised by Count Graduon. She was gifted the ability to transform into others, but in exchange for these powers, she is forced to have both male and female genitals. Sylvana, disguised as Bubbles, meets up with Blake at the pier, where they have sex. She secretes a sleep solution, mid-coitus, and Blake becomes paralyzed. After hiding the body, Sylvana transforms into Blake. When Bubbles arrives at the pier, Maji-chan tells her that Blake is an imposter. She refuses to believe him until Blake's unconscious body is found by Jigliami. Sylvana gives up the disguise. Bubbles asks Maji-chan to teleport her to the real Blake. 
She is confused about which pronoun she should use when thinking about Silvana and settles on referring to her as it. Jiggly Army then performs her song, War of Love, for an audience. After the concert, Chris explains that at this point in his life, he had to choose between three different women. He thanks God and Jesus for eliminating two of the options, as Sarah Jackson was killed by a car and Blanca was revealed to be in allegiance with the trolls. He proclaims his love and devotion to Panda Halo. On December 18th, Chris was informed by some trolls that a young boy killed himself after hearing that there would be no more Sonichu comics. His name was Ryan Cash. The trolls convinced Chris to mention Ryan in his next update video, uploaded a few days later. And uh, for Ryan Cash and his family, I, I uh, feel for you and I'm sorry, but the uh, best thing you could do for uh, Ryan and yourselves is just to move on. Try to be, as hap try be happy in the future. That's what Ryan would want for y'all for and the family. Jeez, so much power. That's that's a lot worse than when that child locked himself in the room after he, after seeing Optimus Prime die in the original movie. On December 30th, the Sonic You Girls fan club website was created, much to Chris's delight. He quickly joined the community and introduced himself. Aside from the understood fact, I feel that I am truly in touch with my feminine side, to the point where I am capable of learning from that, to better understand how to treat women in a caring, nurturing, positive way. I've also learned from Red Skelton of how to be a gentleman. Sometimes I wonder between my caring attitude and the lack of a sweetheart if I was born the wrong gender. I would wonder what life had been like if I had actually been born a girl. But afterwards, I realised that I should still appreciate being born a boy to gentlemen. God gave me the package and I signed for it. Another thing I feel I should bring up is my honest feelings to validate me being straight. Although it goes without saying, I honestly feel more comfortable around women because y'all are mostly sympathetic and caring to another's feelings. Y'all are mostly honest in your conversations. Y'all are emotionally better and stronger than the majority of the male population and simply put, y'all are simply fun and delightful to be around. But I digress. When it comes to the private parts, be they covered or not, I look more at the female parts and definitely her face because not only of my being straight, but everyone is truly a masterful work of God's art that is simply beautiful in their own way. But even more beautiful beyond that, which makes it truly a wondrous design, are the individual personalities. I care more about every woman's feelings and opinions over their body. On the flip side, I feel discomfort around men, because they can be such mean and cruel jerks. I could go on with what I detest about them, but I will not stoop to their level of cruelty. Also, I feel discomfort when shopping for underwear for myself. They do not need models pictured on the package. It grosses me out to see that thing. It's bad enough that I sometimes see my own when I look down, of which I don't feel as much discomfort. But the very sight of others is like kryptonite to me. It makes me feel like throwing up, even when the image randomly pops in my head. Hours later, another web forum appeared. Gay for Sonichu was the internet's first fan club for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender Sonichu fans. By now, Chris's hatred of homosexuals had become a favorite pressure point for trolls. They would often criticize his homophobia and accuse Chris of being gay himself. On January 6th, Greg Mays took control of Chris's website and removed it from the internet. He blackmailed Chris into creating a video proclaiming his sexuality, be it gay or straight. You know who I am? But I have randomly decided to make this video because I am sick of all the false accusations and rumors and slanders that have been going around on the internet about against me. So I tell you, so I tell you for sure and for true that I am straight. I can tell, I can tell you why from my life to my stories, but I'll tell it to you in just a few short minutes. Most of my friends in my life have been female. I've had only few male acquaintances and they definitely turn me off the majority of them because they are rude, crude, and inconsiderate, causing wars and such. But women are so kind and sweet. And you don't have to look at any, any, any of them in bikinis or in a nude to not, to, to, not to fail to see 
the attract and fail to see the beauty in each and every wonderful woman. But inside the beauty, they all have caring qualities, the majority of them. You know, between them and me and the majority of the world, we all just want to be understood. And I understand the ladies. I understand the women. But anyway, get it over to the women. You can not, you can definitely see the sheer brilliance of their delightful personalities between each and every one of them. And just because they act in a harsh nature, even when they should be calm and peaceful, they still care about the men in their lives. And especially the children that she and her husband push together. Like I will be putting together with my sweetheart, my sweet panda. Then we're gonna give you up. But I assure you that I am straight. Because, uh, you know, I appreciate the women, all the women, for their personalities purely. But any man would be crazy or even ignorant to not even notice the outer beauty in addition to their inner beauty. But I appreciate the inner beauty more than the outer beauty. But yet, I am attracted to the outer beauty as well, as the majority of my of my gender should be able to appreciate. And Playboy has been able to help us in that sense to better relate and further our appreciation for the female species, the females, the women, the beautiful ladies. Mm. But I digress with holding a Playboy because I do not need to hold a Playboy to further prove that I am straight. Because I am educated between my life, between throughout my whole lifetime and the classes I have taken between said Zed and high school and real life experiences and my ins and outs in my sweetheart church search in the past, the long past, even though I was thwarted by one female, I will not hold the grudge against her. Yet I will, yet I have drawn previous times moments of rage and anger against, but expressing the anger in, a, in the sense of drawing, that is not total rage, because that is rage, negative rage being put into positive. I put most of my rage into positive outgoing outcomes, positive drawings, positive inspirations because I care about the women. And I even go as far as to stoop, stoop to one low level. Boobies. Vaginas. Mmm. Gorgeous. Very gorgeous. I'm straight. I love the women outside and inside. And that should be enough to prove that I am straight to everyone, even those who dare say otherwise. And those who dare say otherwise, well, I can only say that y'all be damned. I am straight because I care about the women individually and as well as uh, their outer beauty and their inner beauty. And to every one of them, I offer a hug. You don't have to get in person because you get because you can easily get that 
on those that are very close to you. Right, so, Christian Weston Chandler, I am straight. Mm. Peace. Greg Mays, satisfied with the video, brought Chris's website back online. A few days later, Chris made another video denouncing the Encyclopedia Dramatica. I, he I am hereby making it official and making a statement that every detail, the majority of the, the majority to every single detail on that heinous page against me is all a pack of lies, bunch of slanders, twists of my own actual words and drawings and such for the for the trolls slash internet bullies own evil purposes. To actually to actually best understand me, I am a good person. I'm a good person. I'm good natured. But I will show my fangs when I have to. Only when I have to. I'm showing my fangs right now against that page. Especially when I could, and it could be easily proven from among every single gal pal and acquaintance I've ever had in my life in person. And that includes my sweetheart, Sarah Cassandra McKenzie, and all the women on the Sanchi Girls Forum have, met, have proven themselves to be true because they actually understand me and my what I what I mean in my honest words without any of these slanderous twists and turns those evil trolls have done and put on that slanderous page on Encyclopedia Dramatica. So I'm making it official. I denounce everything on that page and I advise nobody to even think about clicking on the link even though it appears in a Google search. And also, to throw a little, at the risk of throwing wood into the fire, I will off, I give that website and everybody, every single troll who has contributed to that page and the website, including the uh, worst troll of them all, 4chan. I curse y'all to bad luck and extreme misfortune. Shinye ha me ha! Peace. Shortly after, a troll hacked into Chris's AOL account and sent an email to his contacts stating that Chris had come out of the closet. Chris made another video to clarify the situation. Uh, this is another brief update. For those of you who have, who have actually received them, um, the emails that possibly came from my AOL account Troll, another troll has hacked into my AOL account yesterday and uh, spammed the emails around. I had uh, closed the account temporarily and I am currently uh, without the email address. So therefore, uh, just, just, to just to let everybody in my fan base and on the internet know, I'm still, I am straight. I am straight. And no troll, no slanderous troll is gonna alter me in such way. I'm straight. Straight? Believe me. I have a subscription to Playboy. And look into my and look at my eyes, my face. I can't be more serious than how I am right now. Those damn slanderous trolls. Damn them all to hell. And another thing, you slanderous trolls. You can kiss my foot. And you know what else else? Chris stomps down on a vibrator he bought from Adam and Eve. And don't you forget it. A few days later, Chris's website was hacked and removed from the internet once again. The hacker claimed to be Jason Kendrick Howell, the creator of the Christian ED page. Chris left an angry phone message on Howell's answering machine. First saved message. Jason Kendrick Howell, you bastard! Bastard! You fucked into everything! You have driven me so beyond the wall I can't even describe it! You love me now, but I pray you dead! Goodbye! 
he had a more level-headed message for his fans on YouTube. I'll be brief because I only have one news, one important news of interest. That bastard, Jason Kendrick Howe, the uh, person, the uh, guy who did who originally started the uh, Encyclopedia Dramatic Pet Dramatica page, hacked my uh, tripod account the first time, and even and after uh, recovering the password and full capability of the tripod account, he just had to do it again. So therefore, I have uh, created a new tripod account. And I am currently denouncing the uh, Sonichu.net name. So, and off, so in the future, from this point on, it's Sonichu.info. Info. So, update your bookmarks, and that's all right with it. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. As Chris mentioned, he moved his site to a new domain. Unfortunately, the site was hacked within a few days. Chris uploaded another video denouncing this site as well. I just wanted to uh, let y'all know, let y'all know in this update that, uh, in addition to my previous uh, denouncing of the Sciencehu.net, I'm also I am also I have also denounced Sciencehu.info since that got hacked into earlier this week, back on back about uh, on the around the or on around the 18th of January. So as of the 18th, I've denounced Sciencehu.info. But I promise every one of you, my loyal, true Science Shoe fans, especially the uh, Science Shoe girls, and while I respect men in general, I hate the homos. I'm straight, and nothing is going to change that. But now, getting back to the issue at hand of science, the Science Shoe site, rest assured. A brand new Sonichu.com will be the official Sonichu site. So, hey, so keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Peace. It wouldn't be long before the hacker revealed their true identity. It wasn't Jason Kendrick Howell that hacked into Chris's accounts. It was a troll named Clyde Cash, brother of Ryan Cash. Clyde was the ringleader of a group of trolls known as the Miscreants, who spent their time on web forums or on calls with Chris. Hundreds of hours of calls between Chris and the trolls occurred during this period, with few of them being leaked to the public. They would gain Chris's trust, ask for access to his online profiles, and then use their access for nefarious purposes. Clyde Cash himself was behind many other troll personas, including Miyamoto, Greg Mays, and Reggie. After Clyde Cash went public, Chris pleaded with him to be left alone in another YouTube video. I'm addressing this video to Clyde Cash, older brother of Ryan, who, uh, who sadly commits, commits <laughs> upon himself when I made the idle threat to, uh, stop my, to stop doing my comics in the protest of the Encyclopedia Jamaica page. You don't have to do this. Just live on your life and move on. You'll find yourself a girlfriend, and she'll make you as she'll make you happier than possibly. Oh well, Ryan could have done it. You don't have to go off killing people. You don't have to harm anybody, emotionally or physically. Just take some deep breaths. Have some time to yourself. Maybe find yourself. Uh, find yourself a counselor at your local church that you can talk to. Clyde, you do not have to do anything rash or drastic. Just move on. You'll find a lot of other things that make you about as or greater than happy as you were with uh, Ryan around. Just take it one day at a time, one moment at a time. You'll get over it. Peace, man. On January 20th, Chris joined the IRC to find Clyde Cash and another troll named Billy Mays. Clyde claimed that he Beep. Panda Halo as revenge for the death of his brother. Chris refuses to acknowledge this claim. Clyde and Billy Mays continue to deride Chris, calling him lazy and pathetic. Chris puts forward a display of strength. I stand here now, taking your blows like a brave leading warrior who has seen so much in his lifetime to lead up to a final battle and win. One shall stand, one shall fall, 
both will emerge victorious for a better, brighter future for each of them after the blows have been dealt and the scars have been issued. The trolls continue to hold insults at Chris. They bring up that Chris occasionally wears his mother's underwear, and as an excuse, Chris replies that he has numbers of pairs of dirty crapped briefs. When they ask why he defecates in his own underwear, he responds, at those times, it mostly slipped out without my knowledge. Chris spends the next 30 minutes arguing about his sexuality with the trolls. At one point, the founder of the Gay for Sonichu fan club joins the chat to let everyone know that he has written a paper about the Sonichu comics titled Heterosexual Homoeroticism in Internet Subcultures, a case study. Chris asks what elements of his comics are being perceived as homoerotic. Queer Sonichu lover lists many, including his use of rainbows, the importance of Sonichu balls, and his cartoon character's fabulous sense of fashion. Finally, Chris becomes angry, and before logging off, he says, Get it through your thick skulls as you fucking possibly can! I am fucking straight for women, their vaginas, their breasts, and most importantly, I am straight for their individual sweetness. I came out of my autistic closet as a straight man and nothing else, so you immature jerks can just fuck off. Peace out. The next day, Chris returned to engage with Clyde yet again. Eventually, Panda herself joins the chat and confirms that she was <coughs> by Clyde Cash. Chris is barely responsive, while Panda angrily scolds Clyde for raping her. She then reveals that she is pregnant. After the initial shock, Clyde agrees to support the child. Chris says he still loves Panda and will treat the child as his own. Clyde and Panda discuss the possibility of moving in with Chris and possibly having a threesome together. Finally, they settle on a deal. If Sonichu becomes a major success, Panda will live with Chris and Clyde will take the child. Otherwise, Panda and Clyde will get married. Chris says that Clyde has just proven himself to be a good man, despite believing him to be a <coughs> By February, Chris and the troll has begun using the voice chat, Mumble. Hi, cause you know, uh, I've, like I've stated numerous times, and I'm, and I'm 100% unanimous in it, I'm against uh, homosexual males, period. Especially since I had the bad experiences in uh, elementary school with the principal and all. Um, so, so sorry. But you know, I, I mean, I'm encouraging straight love between uh, straight couples, mm -hmm. man and woman. I mean, I encourage that more. But it's like you know, between lesbians, it's like mm, partial courage. But then it's but then uh, again, but then between guys, it's de I would definitely 100% discourage. In my humble opinion, I've talked about this before with uh, Sarah, my uh, my this, with Sarah, my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, like you know, I'd be willing to do a threesome with uh, two women, but oh. definitely, but definitely, but definitely never with two guys. I think I get that. You know what I mean? One of the trolls asks Chris about incest. What's uh, what is an incest? I mean, I've heard that word, but I never really understood it. Oh, as in oh, as in sex between both mm -hmm. siblings. Oh, yeah, like brother, sister, sister, sister. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I would definitely discourage that because you know that's uh, another that's an, that's another that's not that's uh, another. That that's another bad way to go. Uh, I don't know. I guess between sisters, I guess that's okay. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying for certain, but like you know, it's possibly okay. But I'm not saying for certain. Women's bodies just look a bit better, uh, wouldn't you agree? Yes, they are. Yes, they're more beautiful. They're more beautiful. They're like they're they're, they're truly like works of art in their own way, just like, yeah, you know, just like, you know, the statues that uh, were built in past times. Yeah. Hey, Chris, um, have you ever thought, just randomly, what it would be like if you were a cyborg? You know, half man, half machine? Uh, yeah, that doesn't happen, but, uh, you know, a bunch of times, I often will randomly randomly ponder what my life would be like if I was actually born a woman. 
Oh, really? Yeah, but hmm. I don't know. But you know, I, I mean, I would theorize that it could be better than my in my life now. You might. But eventually, then eventually, then I real eventually, then I real. But you know, in the end, I'll, I would always realize that, like, you know, I, I can't, bring, I can't change that at this point. I sign. I mean, God gave me the package, and I signed for it. Uh, so, Cogs had a suggestion. Yeah, I, I, I'm re- I, I know I read it. I'm definitely, I'm definitely not doing that. I mean, hey, you know, any man who's dumb enough to take hormones may also just go ahead and pay up thousands of dollars for a sex change. I mean, I may as well go ahead and say it because it's, because you know, it's, it's a fact that's been on my mind for a long time. I mean, I'd sooner have a sex change before I would ever turn into a homo. Chris returned to Mumble a few days later, and this time, Clyde Cash himself was waiting for him. Chris mentions that he caused a car crash recently. You've been in an automobile, automobile accident, I mean, were you drunk? No, I was distracted. Oh, by what? I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to be distracted. You gotta be focused on driving. I was doing man. math in my head. He- Wait, math in your- Couldn't my, I mind, go, like... my mind got distracted by being its own calculator. At one point, Chris's mother walks in on the conversation. Hi, Mom. Hi, you want a couple hot dogs? Chris? Uh, no thanks. I'm just answering a few questions, Mother. You don't have to answer. Nobody's paying you to do that. Yes, we are. It ain't none of their business, no one. Hmm. These, these idiots who ain't had no reason, they don't, they don't have any idea what life is going about. A lot of anxiety, people stressed. Yeah, well, sometimes they don't. It can be peaceful. Well, your mom and dad get to crappy again. That's stupid. Hmm. A lot of us do. Yeah, just like this nasty mess over here. Some of the other mess thing that happened. Hmm. Uh, tell me where you're going. Tell me where you're going. Tell me where you're going. Your mother has a beautiful singing voice, Chris. And mommy, you know what? Something else? They like your singing. I don't sing. You just did. It's my life. See my lad, yeah, he couldn't hear me. They heard you. Sing him. Just now. I can't sing. He just did. I'm to The subject turns to Panda Halo. Or Hyman. <laughs> Look, I know, it's a terrible mistake I made, but I plan to make it up to her. I didn't marry them. I'm, I'm doing the things that I should do. Oh, and another thing, if she is really over there with you now, then, I, then put her on the mic, please. She's, She's very busy, too. okay? She's very busy. I just have to hear from Sarah herself that she really is going to be with you, Clyde. I have to hear from herself. It's one thing to hear from you, and then it's then on that note, it's just I find it very hard to believe. On February 7th, the Black Saturday bushfires spread through Victoria, Australia, taking the lives of 173 people. Even though Panda Halo didn't live in the same region as the fires, Chris uploaded a video speculating that she may have been killed. Captain's Log, star date February 8, 2009. Ah, uh, yeah, I've been under distress lately. Uh, the recent one where, uh, yeah, where y'all may have heard about, y'all may have watched the videos, re- uh, the last two videos before this one. Hmm. Yeah, I forced into doing that. I won't be repeating that again, and hopefully not. Uh, hopefully I won't be repeating that. Use that take. There's been some fire going, there's been some brush fire or wildfire, that sort of stuff. Fire. Going on in the Southern Australia area. Where my sweetheart, Sarah Cassandra McKenzie, and a halo. <clears throat> she was uh, in that. She was in that neck of the woods. I pray that she's still alive. I hope she didn't die in the fire. 
Sarah, if you if you are hearing this message, please let me know that you're safe. And also let me know. Can I still expect you over at my house? Or are you going to go to Clyde? Please let me know. Cause I miss you. Still caring about you very much. Peace. Throughout the final month of Panda Halo's life, Chris began hesitantly chatting to other potential gal pals. One of these bachelorettes was a woman named Julie, known online as Blue Spike. She was a common participant in the IRC chats, and on January 4th, they began talking over Skype. Julie explained that she was from the fictional Eastern European country of Mulvania, and currently lived in Ohio. By February, Chris hadn't heard from Panda in weeks, and set his sights on Julie instead. On February 5th, Chris and Julie hopped onto Mumble to chat with each other. Hi Chris. Hello. Well, I have unfortunate news about Mulvania. It appears to have been destroyed. I, I know that sounds strange, but I don't know what happened. I'm mm. very worried. Maybe I can find something I on I missed the... my hometown. I hear you. Hang on, I'll, uh, I'm, I'll Google. Mulvania and see if I can No, it's alright. I'm pretty sure I know what happened. I think the dictator of Mulvania... I think he was assassinated. Hmm. Um... Do you find yourself attracted to your female characters that you create at all? Yeah, they th yeah, I would say they all have a good... I would, they all... They all think I'm handsome. Like my mother. My mother think... My mother tells me constantly that I'm handsome. And, you know, I... I agree with her and when I look at myself in the mirror but it's like you know I, every time she tells me I'm handsome I'm like if I'm so handsome why don't I have a girlfriend I don't know I can't imagine why either you're well to use the best word you're just dashing you're wonderful I appreciate that oh no what I see Clyde's here oh, I hope Claude, how did you get in here? Gotcha. You must be on your drugs again, you jerk. Not this time. Not this time. Chris, I don't think he's gonna leave. I'm scared. What if he tells all the other jerks what you've been saying? He knows nothing. He's been mostly out of this conversation. You're I welcome. know everything. Ever. Oh, there you go. He got kicked out. With Clyde gone, Chris gets flirtatious. Oh, well, first we make out. Mm. I'd let you pull my pants down and let you warm me up a bit. I would love to. You would pretty much, and then eventually, uh, you might, you might get, you know, some of the premature stuff. But uh, you know, that's like, you know, at least that's out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, we would continue after that, right? Yeah. I still got a lot more tiger in my tank. Mm, I want to hook your bra. Mm. And I would uh, be be marveling at your at their nipples. Because mm -hmm. you've already marveled at my dick. Chris describes his first time with Julie in detail. Soon afterwards, Clyde reappears. No, I've been here the entire time. <laughs> Get out of here, you jerk! I'm scared. I'll plan a visit tomorrow, okay, Julie? I'll plan a visit tomorrow. No. You leave for what a while. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? I'm going to play Russian Roulette. <sighs> Chris! Really are psychopath. Why so serious? You need to be put in an institution. <laughs> I mean, no. you're obviously delusional. You really believe that you you can smite me with your words. 
You really think that? I don't just think that, but I am confident. All right. Just get to I, I have... I'll give you a two-day reprieve. Just make a video to two, three minutes. Proclaim your love for men, how gay you are, and I'll give you a three-day break to try to save Julie. If you don't do it within the next three hours, well, we'll see Julie's funeral in a few weeks then. All right? You understand me? Oh, you shut oh, up. You leave her alone. Please, Chris, well, he knows where I live. You leave Please. Julie alone. I am straight, and I will never admit the it. opposite. So what is going to be? Your image or your woman? My image. Within three hours, Chris uploaded the video that Clyde requested. You know the word gay tends to be thrown around a lot. Especially when uh, one's words is uh, heavily understood one way or understood another way but uh yeah in a nutshell i have to come out of the closet god please help me inside mind and body i am a gabian yep you heard me I am a gay again. A male lesbian. Clyde wasn't satisfied with Chris's video. Hey Chris, what is a gaybian? I have never heard this word in my life. It's like it's like a lesbian, except for, it's a, it's like guy and guy, but it basically means gay. Now it means you're straight. <laughs> well, I did. I said gay. Did at the end. We all heard it. We are not deaf. Okay, I'll accept that. I made an inferior product. I'll prove it. I'll, I'll improve it. If you'll, if you'll, if uh, it will help, if you will, if you will, if you'll give me a bit, if you'll, if you'll leave Julia, if you'll leave Julia, if you'll leave her alone. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I said it. <sighs> okay. Yep. So... Did I rip him out of the closet there? It just depends on y'all, how y'all understand it. The next day, Chris returned to Mumble. Hopeful that his second video might be enough to protect Julie. I redid the video. I did not use the word Gabian. I did not use it. Well, let me take a look at it. Yeah, it's live. It's like the same video to me. What the hell? Well, at least I did not say Gabian. Oh, what is in your room? Christ almighty. You have so much stuff in your room. Why don't you sell that? Chris, you don't know anything about saving money, do you? How much have you spent on games? I'd say... Yes, uh, taking a rough guess here, um... Fine, 10,000. <sighs> Christ, man. And you can't afford to save anything for your future, your future children, your future wife. Jerry, you wanna say something? This is the man that's no, not really. gonna be your future husband. I'm just saying, you always have a chance to back out now. The only I care about you. I care about you very Chris much. Is right. I do want to be with him. And every time I say I love you, I have my heart behind me. <laughs> every time you say I love you, you say I love you to every woman that walks down the street. You said it to me, you said it to Sarah, you said it to all those people. I... Look, I mean, all you want is sex. It's. If you're wrong. You are absolutely wrong. I don't just want sex. If I just wanted sex, I would have hired a prostitute and gotten an STD years ago. Oh, come on. I saw that whatever you that one MySpace name. You said you were looking for a blonde woman, not black, not autistic, 
Somehow I was a bit more picky back then. But still, call me old-fashioned, but... I'd rather be... I, I would not uh, definitely mean with... Uh, not black. Not black. I mean, all the other races, which is like a majority... Uh, the whole bunch of races... Uh, and I'm not being racist here, Julie. How is that not racist? Come on! You blatantly said not black. Hey, don't you blame me for no fool, man! What? What was that? You figure it out. Oh, and that just be an imitation of a black person or somebody from Jamaica? You do know those are different. Oh, Christ almighty. So you are racist, my god. Hey, well, if it, be, if it fits Archie Bunker's shoes, then let it be. But I am not totally racist, man. I am not racist. Then what was that? What was that? Look, I, I, listen, I, I've been very patient with you. I gave you honest answers. So, please, leave Julie alone. You know what? No one's gonna believe those videos. Everyone's gonna believe they're straight. You've been doing that for way too long. I want oh. you to destroy every possession that you'd love to give up for Julie. That will show you your dedication for Julie. Uh, I'll give that consideration. Sell Thank your you. shit or destroy your shit. Just do something. Make your room look presentable. I mean, Christ almighty. You still look like a child. I'm young at heart. Everybody has to grow up. Chris complied with Clyde's demands. Hello. Y'all may- some of you may have seen the uh, video which, uh, which I've recently uploaded uplo saying that I was uh, of the wrong orientation. But I, but I, I want to let y'all know that I, I did that to save the life of a trusted gal pal. And she is eternally grateful from, to me for it. So, that, so yes, as you can tell from my nonverbal clues, I was lying out of my ass. And also, I had to make another slight promise. Uh, another promise after making that, after that, that I uh, get rid of some of my unnecessary possessions. I destroyed this. Chris films himself attempting to break his vibrator in half. <sighs> dun dun dun. So that deed is done. I am straight. Chris reveals some subtle hints that he left behind in the recent videos in which he came out of the closet. Eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that Chris wasn't wearing his Sonichu medallion, a clue to his deception. In addition, he held onto an Optimus Prime action figure and placed a Sailor Moon poster in the background. I was holding on to my manhood, my straightness by having Optimus Prime on my lap. And my Sailor Moon poster behind me that I look at every night to help keep me straight. I was born straight, and I will never be changed that way. Thank you. On February 10th, Chris proudly showed off his newly cleaned room. The reason why I have my camera aimed down at my feet is because, in respect to a promise I am, I am wanting to keep, I'm showing off the uh, cleanliness of my room, which I have just cleaned up. For example, there's uh, more walking space. Look right here, there's definitely space between that and the bed. And you look over here. More walking space to the door. Plenty of space there. But also, uh, after talking about that, and like, no, 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 no. Clyde knows that I've kept my promise. Ich bin schwell, Julie. Ich bin schwell. 
The trolls told Chris that Ik bin Shwul meant I love you in Mulvanian. In actuality, it meant I am gay in German. Throughout February, Chris and Julie would often have phone sex. In one instance, Chris roleplayed as Sonichu, while Julie took the form of a cat. Alright, so how about, all right, so how about this we're at Quickville Beach at sunset? And it's just the two of us. We're lying on a beach towel. <clears throat> yeah. I sent a few short static shocks up your up your beep. Not enough to hurt you too bad, but make you feel good. You're gonna get my mail, kitty cat. Chris orgasms loudly. Afterwards, he can be heard opening a can of soda. On Valentine's Day, Chris had more cyber sex. As with all of Chris's computer chats, this took place in the Chandler's kitchen. Joey! Joey! Don't worry about that, my father will get it. He got it. Continue. Joey! Trolls involved with the miscreants called the Chandler home repeatedly, attempting to convince one of Chris's parents to walk in on him. One told Robert that Chris intended on hurting himself. Worried, he went to check on his son. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm getting all these crazy damn calls. What are you doing? Nothing. Give me that crap. Now, what's going on? Dad, will you get out of here? No, I will not. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm going to wake your mother up and find out? No. Get away from that TV. Fine. Get away from the internet. I'm cutting it down right now. No! Dad, no! Yes. No! I'm going to shut this thing right down. No. Yes. No. Dad, no. Stop. Go wake your mother up. Don't bother me. Go and wake your mother up. You tell her what's going on. This thing is going to go down. No. Yes. On February 17th, Chris participated in his eighth mumble chat. Uh, Chris, I have a question, actually. Yeah. I have this friend. I think he might be gay. Um, uh, I don't know. He, uh, after he's done masturbating, he drinks his own semen. Is that gay? Uh, come on. 
even that considering I still would not get any piercings. Wait, what's a duck? It's like a place with an I with a U in the word. It's all right. Euphemism. Euphemism. The same day, Chris had a chat with Julie over the PlayStation Network. Barbara can be heard in the background, and Julie asked to speak with her. Yeah, could you ask for my other fire talk to her? Because I've wanted to talk to her for a while. The now. By now, trolls would refer to Barbara as Snorlax, a rotund Pokemon known for its fondness of food and its sleepy nature. You spell summon Snorlax. Hmm. So let's talk to Julie on the PSN network. I'm not able to talk to the virus. Summon failed! As usual, the conversation starts getting sexual. Julie asks about Chris's blow-up doll. What about that blow-up doll? Don't you have like two of these? Oh, the uh, blow up doll. Yeah, I did have two, one for backup, but uh, like a few weeks ago, when I was uh, doing a thing with it, it got an internal injury and uh, it deflated. Chris, you know what you should do? Hmm? You should try and make that video, you know, of you doing your thing with the blow up doll for me. Alright, I'll, uh, make, I'll make that video for you tonight. Later that night, Chris filmed himself having sex with Kimmy, one of his two sex dolls. The video was leaked a few days later. Julie! Julie! When Chris discovered the video, Julie blamed the leak on her brother, Max. On February 18th, Chris and Julie had another PSN chat. Yeah, Chris, can I ask you something else? Um, uh-huh. could you tell me why did you buy the dolls and the beads and the... everything? <laughs> okay, well... I bought the love dolls as my practice for when I actually do it with a real woman. All right. And the and the anal beads was one free gift that came with one of the dolls. And uh, then a dildo was another free gift. You can tell me the truth. Did you ever use any of those things? All right, I'll tell you confidentiality. I put a condom on the uh, dildo and I actually did put up my uh, a-hole. Uh... In my humble opinion, uh, it just did not feel right to me. And uh, the anal beads, uh, I just put them in there and they got and then they got covered in poo and then I just popped it. Oh, oh, sorry. In the trash can. I'm sorry. That's okay. Chris? Yeah. Thank you for talking to this. I truly love you, Chris. I love you too, Julie. Julie asked Chris to do some impressions. Hey Chris, can you guess what my favorite impression is? Uncle Ruckus? <laughs> That's the one. What what do you think about black people? I have nothing against black people personally. Uh, uh, all right. Well, what about, um, what about Chinese? They're okay. Hmm. Look at me, I'm Chinese. Look at me, I'm Chinese. Huh. Wait, was that Japanese or Chinese? Ignore the word. They're all sleepy on it. <laughs> Chris, do you think we can talk about your father a bit? All right. Here's my dad. Hello. Hello. That's uh, Julie Novania. She came all the way from Mulvania. Mulvania. We were just looking at it on the map. It's a uh, former part, probably former part of the former Soviet Union. It's, it's gypsy country. Ah. You have any gypsy violins there? Hmm. All the countries keep changing. Can I keep telling Chris? I've been around for 81 years, and I've seen this world change a lot. And it's hard to keep track of which countries or what countries anymore of what they were earlier. Very few people really, in, in, particularly in this country, really understand the makeup of the world. Yes. And I've tried to train Christian in, in being conscious of the world. But it's awful hard for him to understand because... He, he knows about Charlottesville, and he knows about our little county here in Green. Like, I don't think he really comprehends Europe or, or Asia. He had a tough time with Australia a few months back. 
and kind of got it through his head where Australia was. Most people, you ask them where a country is, and they could say, well, is that on this planet? And Christian got all upset that I didn't know where your country is. But uh, I haven't heard of yours. Because I'm, kind of, I'm kind of a loner. And I, I worked for General Electric while I was working as an engineer. And I traveled all over the world. And all Bob rambles for some time, mentioning his hobby of collecting stamps and his love for music. Eventually, he leaves the room. Julie asks for access to Chris's PlayStation Network account. Please. All right, I'm going to trust you with my main password on my account. Thank you, Chris. Okay. My, uh, I'm going to start out for you. Uh, three, two, one. Yeah. N A I B E. Yeah. N U T M E G. Two seven. On February 20th, Chris made a poetic video declaring his love for Julie. Oh, fair Julie, I love you so much in my heart. Uh, your voice strikes me like a lute on a spring day, or a red or a red robin in an early afternoon. And uh, we yet have a similar storyline to uh, Romeo and Juliet. Every night you can, every night you may cry, Christian O, Christian O, where far out thou, Christian O? And I would be there in, in your heart, for, I, for my heart is with you. And I would personally be calling out, I am here, O fair Juliet. Tis no, tis no word thy name be heard every moment, every waking moment. And Ju the sun is in the east, and Juliet is the sun. Though I know not much Shakespeare, but at least I know enough to get it by. But hopefully, with the power of God at our side, we'll be together very soon. For the power of God can influence even the uh, most paranoid of souls, I'm sure. I'm hugging you, Julie. Mm. I'll talk to you later. Later, Julie and Chris spoke to each other over PSN. Chris, I thought you said you were going to come to Ohio. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't come to Ohio, but... But Chris, you, you said you would. You, you told me. I was so excited. Uh, okay, well, I'll make plans and set money aside for a uh, road trip over to Ohio within the next couple of months. Oh, I was thinking you could come here for your birthday. It would be awesome. Yeah, I might uh, bring my mother with me. Is that a problem or is that okay? Well, I don't know, because I was thinking when you get here, you know. Thanks very much for my heart, Julie. Hmm. Can I ask, who do you truly value more, your mother or me? <sighs> The next day, however, Chris's aunt Karina passed away. The funeral was scheduled for February 24th, Chris's 27th birthday, and the same day he planned on driving to Ohio to be with Julie. On the eve of Chris's birthday, he joined another mumble chat with Clyde to talk about his recently leaked Love Doll video. The moment he joins the call, he is ambushed by the miscreants. Welcome to the brothers, miscreants. Brother. 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 Chris, stop this. Look, I did that video just for Julie, and her brother found it on her computer and uploaded it to the YouTube without neither of our consent. Do you understand what the miscreants are? And her brother is part of it. He's been a very valuable member. Let me guess, y'all are a bunch of trolls, aren't you? No. No. Look, ever since Evan posted those gay pictures with the master database squirting. We have been there from the beginning. Do you remember Jason? Always a valuable member, always threatening to take the fall for me. And can't you remember Blanca, the one who destroyed your medallion? And the latest member, Sarah Mackenzie. She's alive at my side. 
all part of the miscreants, Chris. Do you know why, Chris? They're trying to make a slander out of me and a uh, fool? Or just no. a lick on me? Make or a just a lick on me? No, no, the goal is to make sure you never get laid. That is the goal of the miscreants. Oh. Virginia is for virgins. Shut up! Why do you have to pick on me like this? You don't need to do this. Don't you all have lives of your own? Can't you go find your own sweethearts to do with? You don't care about women. That I do care about wrong. women. Stay yes, I do. Because you side. don't respect them. You only respect them. <sighs> Julie has ruined this, but it's not going to be a problem soon. You leave, you leave Julie alone. I Look, I don't care about any of that anymore, ever since you said you hate the Chinese too much. I never said I hated the Chinese. Yo, you yes, totally said that, dog. Okay, I'm, <laughs> so, I'm sorry I said that. I respect the Chinese. I was just, you can't just, I, I was, you I was just trying to make Julie smile. You say that with the Chinese. Are they being hateful? That is horrible, Chris. This is why no woman should ever be with you, ever. Destined the Persian to forever. Y'all are ticking, y'all are fucking in ticking me, y'all are fucking pissing me off right now. Clap, clap, clap. Clap. You're a fucking spaz bucket, you stupid. Beep. What the fuck are you doing here right now, Chris? What the Settle hell? Down. Origin. Settle down. Beep. Yourself, Chris. Beep. Yourself. Hey, whoa. Spur us. No, we don't want him to yeah. murder. No, 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 no. That's whoa, not whoa, whoa. Yeah. We don't murder. We need him to learn <sighs> that this. he's a Arjun, you're fucking abusing him. Arjun, you just yeah, went overboard. Damn. I mean, we're basically just taunting him. We weren't actually like. Tell him well, well, what did I don't worry, that? Chris will come back when he realizes Jay is in danger. Chris returned to Mumble later that night, presumably after Arjun was kicked from the call. I have a lot of stress in my life. My aunt Karina just died, and I have to. I have to go to her funeral, and I'm gonna be very sad that day. And it's happening, the funeral is happening on my back table of all days. And they kept her alive for as long as they could, so she, until she prayed, until she breathed the last breath. I just want to be there. I hear that she was dying. I hear that she died. I hear that she died. This is delicious. So let's let him cry. That still does not excuse you for all your other past actions. But I'll admit, I'm possibly retarded, okay? My mind doesn't think so swift yet. But I, I, I might even, I'm likely to even make mistakes on the, on the, on the fly without even realizing it. Yo, I can hear that type. What's with that? At this point, Julie's brother Max began sending Skype messages to Chris through Julie's account. He claimed that he had captured Julie and was en route to the miscreant's headquarters in Ohio. Uh, Max, yeah, yeah. That's Ju nice. Max, Julie's brother, pretty much uh, spirited away Julie, took her to the headquarters where the uh, miscreants, I think they were called, are. And uh, now uh, Max wants me to come over to Cleveland within the next five days to pick up Julie from the headquarters, and I'm just trying to find out uh, if Clyde is going to try to force me in jail or uh, hurt me or anything like that. Of course not. We're just going to make sure that you never, ever, you know, man, have I been drinking? Anyway, never touch a woman because, you know, you're not a man. Well, anyway, uh, you just basically you want me to test my uh, love for my love for Julie, and uh, then that, that's uh, basically it in a nutshell, isn't it? Sure, that's perfect. You know, my mom is like, you know, she's gonna be telling me, "Don't go, don't go." I worry about it. you know. She's watched a lot of television. Chris, I I think you have to show your mom that you that you truly love Julie. Yeah, but my yeah, but then my mom is also a bit jealous of me loving. Of loving another woman more than her. As the clock struck midnight, the trolls wished Chris a happy birthday. Actually, happy actually, birthday, by the way. Uh, thank you. Oh, actually, oh, actually, birthday, actually, actually, I was born at 5.30 in the morning. Oh, 5.30. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. All right.
Okay, well, I'll talk to my mom about it later and put my foot down. Because right now she's sleeping and then I have the funeral to worry about. Uh, you know, majority of y'all take care and, um, you know, just mingle amongst yourselves for now. Take Wow. God. God. Yeah, oh, he, does, oh. he pulls another shit like he did with Redmond when he was like, oh yeah, it just yeah. got back and now Julie's laying in my bed, but I'm not gonna put her on camera. Ha 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 ha. On Chris's birthday, he attended his aunt's funeral with plans to confront his mother afterwards about his trip to Ohio. Later that day, he received a short email from Clyde. We're sending Julie off to China in nine hours. You have failed me yet again. But Chris needed no further motivation. On February 26th at 5.30 a.m., Chris began his seven hour trip from Rockersville to Cleveland, leaving a note for his parents to discover. This was the first time Chris had driven more than 50 miles from home. He brought with him a printed map of his route and $50 in cash to cover food and gas. He started on Interstate 81, eventually reaching the Pennsylvania Turnpike and was faced with an $11 toll at the state line. Chris accidentally locked himself out of his car at the toll booth and required AAA roadside assistance to get him back into his vehicle. At around 4.30, Chris stopped in Streetsboro, Ohio to buy food and gas. He purchased 6.385 gallons of gas for $11.68 and got a small hamburger with no pickles and a lemonberry slushy from Sonic for $2.70. Once he reached the outskirts of Cleveland, Chris called his parents, who had already noticed his absence and filed a missing persons report with the police. When he finally arrived at his destination, he found a broken down red brick house. An old woman answered the door and knew nothing about Julie or the miscreants. A perplexed Christian had no choice but to turn around and drive another seven hours back to Rockersville, arriving home at 3 a.m. After taking a much needed nap, Chris confronted Max over Skype, sending pictures of receipts as proof of his trip. Max claimed that the old woman was his mother and that he still had Julie at an undisclosed location. On March 3rd, Max gained control of Chris's PSN and Yahoo accounts using the password Chris willingly gave Julie. Chris joined a mumble call with Max while Clyde Cash and the miscreants listened in. No video has ever leaked, but it's clear from the dialogue that Chris is on a webcam. Oh, why so down in the dumps? You stole my PSN, you stole my Yahoo, and you made me choose between all that and my girlfriend. Well, if you don't yell at me one more time, you're not going to get either, so start yelling. I want to see your fangs. <laughs> Are you constipated? You're not going to get your PSN if you act like that. No, 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 it's going on eBay. No. Yes, no, no. eBay. No. Why should I stop? Hey, Chris, something that will help you get the PSN. Say that I'm a homo. Oh. eBay. No. E then say it louder. I'm a homo. eBay. No! 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 Start swearing. It might change my mind. Uh, you fucking got so hard! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm opening eBay right now. Stop! 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 Start auction! I no. picked Julie! I picked Julie! Give me back! Give me! Give me back! Give me back! Give me back! No, you picked Julie! That doesn't mean you're gonna get the PSN if you pick Julie. Here, I'll give you the PSN if you can do one thing. Right. Suck my dick! How can I do yours when you're all the way over there? I'll go all the way to Virginia. No, wait, even better. No, I want you to go to the game place, apologize to the manager, and suck his dick. I want you to record it and put it on YouTube. Uh, I'm putting myself on, I'm putting yourself on your mercy here, please. Just leave my, just leave it off of eBay. Alright, do a dance. Do a dance for me. Dance, you fucking monkey, dance. I stopped it. Stop right now. No, sit like that, like a bitch. I don't bet you don't even have a bitch down there. You got a big old set of ovaries. No, 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 don't. Okay, okay, okay. You have a bitch. Don't fucking show me. You pedal fork. What the fuck is wrong with you trying to show me that? Don't. Nothing was actually exposed. Well, whatever. Just, just don't. Oh, and say one thing for me really quickly. 
Say that Billy Mays, the mayor of Quickville. Say it. Billy Mays? Yeah, Billy Mays. Say it. Billy Mays is the mayor of Quickville. <sighs> Billy Mays is the new mayor of Quickville. Yeah. And also say that Christian Chandler will be thrown in jail. And Christian Chandler will be thrown in Quickville jail. Where he will be beeped by a bunch of beeps. Say this one really loud. Beep. By a bunch of niggos. <laughs> no, say beep. You stupid twat. Beep. Yeah. Hey, I have a question. Why aren't you wearing your medallion? Because I promised you that I wouldn't wear it. Make your choice. You can burn the medallion or shove it up your butt. Come on, what are you gonna do? Shut up my butt. You're up! I have to divide it. Alright, cut it into two. While you shove it up your ass, scream, zap him to the extreme, okay? <sighs> How does it feel, Chris, to be destroying something you worked so hard on? Hard. Cold. Cold? Chris, are you really gonna do this? Seriously? Yeah. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. Oh, I see brown stains. Did you crap your pants really? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Just just don't make me wash this for too long, please. <laughs> more. More. Shove it up. Shove it up. Up 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 more. 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 <sighs> How does this make you feel, Chris? Miserable. Oh god, poor Sasha. Blue Spike, no you. more. Blue Spike, stop this shit. No one go in. And then keep trying. Stop it. Really? Alright, fine, you can stop. Stop? Yeah, sure. I wonder, what should I make you do next? Please, this is enough. I have a good idea. Burn your house down. God no. damn it, you I'm idiot. Burn my house down. Then the PSN is going on you. Blue Spike. Chris, there is something. Stop it. There is something. All right. Chris, I want you to be in the mumble. Julie's going to talk to you there. It's important. Oh, man. Chris, I'm happy you're here. Hi. Julie? There's something I've been trying to tell you for a while. Alright, uh... Yes, uh, go ahead and tell me now. This whole time, Chris, you've been having sex with a 13-year-old boy, you sick fuck! What? Yeah, I'm a 13-year-old boy, Chris. I'm gonna give all your fucking data to Chris Hansen! Ugh. Now, wait I, a minute. Right. I, did not, I did not know you were a 13-year-old. They're not gonna believe you! They're gonna fucking put you away! So, let me guess, you were matched the whole time, weren't you? And Julie, yes. Both figments of my imagination. Uh, the there is no Julie. You drove to Ohio for no reason. How does this make you feel? Tell me. Well, I feel terrible. Clyde. What up? Then he finally found out it was... I expected a bit more of a shitstorm. Whatever. Okay, you know, you're going crazy, okay? Yeah, this is going kind of crazy. I mean, you sounded like a 13-year-old boy. And Chris, and Chris just kind of fell for that. You just sound- I know what a woman sounds like. No, 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 the embarrassing part is that a... Max and no, 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 Ruby no, 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 were the no, no. same the boy. God damn this operative being a motherfucker. Hey, shut the hell up. Fuck, Chris. There are more things to life than your PS3. Your whole internet life is in a lot. There are no Sonic Shoe fans. The best thing you can do is go outside for the love of God, okay? I mean, you say you were from your state, but you never seem to. Ever. I think he's crying. Why don't we just Whatever. let the baby cry? I'm not crying. How does it feel to know that this is your entire fan base? I am hey, not. Hey, Blue Spike, you're making your little too. Goodbye. Well, <laughs> okay. I think we hurt him pretty bad. Yay! Well, we kind of completely blew Chris's mind right Can I there. Stop In one night? Yes. 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 yes.